everyone welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how you can determine the nature of roots uh, given an equation given a, a quadratic equation okay so uh, if in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel make sure that you do so by clicking on the subscription button and also don't forget to click on the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting all right and if you have any questions feel free to contact me on any of the lines on the screen okay so the question is asking us to determine the nature of roots of this quadratic equation so the most important thing that you need to understand about how you can determine the nature of um, roots of any quadratic equation is first uh, by uh, by understanding the the concept of the discriminant you need to know what a discriminant is yeah so we all know to say the the quadratic formula is given by let me write it here we have x is equal to uh, negative b plus or minus the root of uh, b squared minus 4ac then we divide everything by 2a now what is inside there is what um, is what is called the discriminant so the discriminant i would denote it by d is just equal to b squared minus 4ac so this is what we use to determine the nature of roots of a quadratic equation and when um when d which is the discriminant is greater than zero we say the quadratic equation has um, two distinct roots so we say it has uh, two distinct or different roots distinct real roots of course and if d is less than zero it means that it has what are called imaginary 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 roots and then when d is equal to zero this means that um, this if, if d is equal to zero it means that the given quadratic equation has equal roots so this is a type of quadratic equation um, which when you solve it you find uh, two similar answers let's say if after solving a quadratic equation you find x is equal to 2 and another x is also equal to 2 it means that that given quadratic equation has equal roots so these roots are, are simply just um, the solutions that you find after solving a quadratic equation so we're going to use this same concept here to determine um, the nature of these quadrat I mean the nature of roots of this quadratic equation so um, we're going to use D which is uh, B squared minus 4AC so now what do we get our B our A and our C so from the quadratic equation we're not to say the general formula of a quadratic equation is simply just AX squared plus BX plus C so this is the general format of a quadratic equation meaning the coefficient of x squared is the one that we call the is, is the one that we're taking as a and then the coefficient of x is the one that we're taking as b and then the constant in this case is 7 it's the one that we're going to get as c so let us uh, plug um, the, 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 is the coefficients um, of this quadratic equation in the discriminant we see what we're going to get so the coefficient of x squared in this case is simply just 1 we don't have anything in front of 1 here so I mean in front of x squared so the coefficient of x squared is 1 that is our a and then our b is 3 which is the coefficient of x so we have 3 squared minus 4 and then my a is simply just the coefficient of x squared which is just 1 and then c in this case is 7 so 3 squared will give me 9 and then it's a minus 4 times 1 that's 4 and then times 7 we're getting 28 
so when you subtract 28 i mean yeah 28 from 9 you are getting negative uh 19 so negative 19 is less uh than zero because a negative number is less than zero so negative 19 is less than zero so in this case we say the discriminant which you have found is less than zero meaning the given quadratic equation which is this one here has imaginary roots so when you solve this quadratic equation you're going to find a negative answer here yeah so meaning it has imaginary roots or complex roots so sometimes imaginary roots are known as complex roots okay so let's uh quickly move on to this one so we move on to this one so in this case our a is a coefficient of x squared our b is a coefficient of x and then our c is 5 so let's try to plug in in the i mean what we've been given there so d is equal to let me just demarcate here So D is equal to B squared minus 4AC. So D is now equal to, so the value of B in this case is negative 1. That's the coefficient of um, X. So we're squaring negative 1, then you say minus 4. The value of A is 3, and then the value of C is 5. Uh, negative 5 rather so we have d is equal to negative 1 squared to give us 1 and then when you multiply 4 times negative 5 I mean negative 4 times negative 5 we're getting negative 20 and then we multiply it by uh, rather positive 20 and then when, when you multiply it by 3 we're getting positive uh, 60 so when you add this you are getting 61 as the answer so 61 is greater than zero so we say our discriminant is greater than zero so when the discriminant is greater than zero it means that the given quadratic equation which is this one has two different real roots or two distinct real roots so the same thing applies to this one and also this one so let let me do this one then i'll also come to that one so for this one we do the same so our discriminant is given by b squared minus 4ac so i'm going to replace everything in the discriminant and when i replace i'm going to have my b here is 2a so i'm going to have 2a and i'm going to square it minus 4 and then we have a um 2a and then minus 4 and then the value of a uh, rather the the value of um a here is simply just a there so i'm just going to write a there and then c is also a so when you simplify this you are going to get 4a squared here then here this will also give us 4a squared so when you subtract 4a squared from 4a squared you're getting zero so when d is equal to zero um when d is equal to zero this means that we have equal roots so meaning this quadratic equation here has what are known as equal roots So we do the same to this one, but for this one, before you can start um, picking your a, b, and c, you first have to rearrange the quadratic equation. So you first start with the one with x squared. So we're going to have negative x squared there. And then we have positive 9x. And then we have 2 as a constant. Then everything is being equated to 0. So we have 2 as a constant. then everything is equated to zero okay
point so we have two you say this is equal to zero so here the value of a is simply just negative one the value of b is nine then the value of c is um two yeah so i'm leaving this question for you to answer and then when you answer it you can submit via my whatsapp line in case you are doubting your solution so what you just need to put in mind is that when d is greater than zero the given equation has two distinct real roots when d is less uh, than zero it has imaginary uh, roots and then when d is equal to zero it means that the given quadratic equation has equal roots yeah so for, in, for instance the ones that we found this one was less than zero hence it had imaginary roots then this one was greater than zero meaning it has two different real roots or two distinct real roots and then when d was equal to zero we said it had equal roots so this is exactly what you're supposed to do even for this one you just have to rearrange it first and then you pick your a in this case a is negative one b is nine and then c is two then you plug them into the discriminant and then find um uh, i mean determine whether d is greater or less or equal to zero all right thank you very much for watching today's tutorial uh see you in the next uh tutorial video uh if you have any questions feel free to contact me on any of my lines which i showed you at the beginning and um don't forget to subscribe to my channel my name is hamted See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.